Have you heard of kamen, or Japanese family crests? They are household emblems, passed down from generation to generation, a representative symbol of the family. Much like European heraldry, they employ a broad range of symbolic design motifs, plants, animals, geometric shapes, and so on. Whereas European emblems were reserved for certain people, such as the nobility, Japanese family crests can be adopted by any family and don't require registration with an official body. As a result, it is impossible to estimate how many individual crests are currently in use, not least due to the vast number of variations on traditional emblems, following what are quite basic rules. Perhaps, you'd like to design your own kamen, or would simply like to gain a better understanding of the crests that appear on samurai robes and armor. Either way, this video is for you. The widespread use of kamen dates back to the Heian period, about 1000 years ago, when aristocrats began decorating their clothes and possessions with unique patterns. The designs were often associated with their ancestral home, cherished ideas, or aspirations. These status symbols very quickly became badges of authority and power. Here are the crests used by the five highest ranking families. The elegant designs feature flowers associated with nobility, such as the botan or peony, which symbolizes bravery and honor. Imported into Japan from China in the 8th century, the flamboyant peony is considered the king of flowers, largely due to its densely packed opulent petals. The flower is still popular today as a pattern for women's kimonos. Fujimon, a wisteria crest, represented the Fujiwara clan, the most powerful aristocratic family at that time. They flourished by sending their daughters to the emperor's court for more than 1,300 years. Wisteria thrives by clinging to a thick trunk. So it's an apt symbol for the Fujiwara's clawing grip on imperial power. Around this time, the imperial chrysanthemum, probably most famous crest in Japan, was also created. It enjoys the same exclusive legal status as the national flag, and unauthorized use is strictly forbidden. When political power shifted from aristocrats to samurai clans, the adoption of kamen was not immediate. However, as mass warfare became more common, they offered a way to distinguish friend from enemy on a crowded and chaotic battlefield. Kamen began appearing on flags and helmets, but the designs were simple to make them easily identify at a distance. In some cases, they were as basic as horizontal or vertical bars. General began bestowing crests as prized symbols of valor, which meant a single clan could possess several crests and use them interchangeably according to the occasion. Here are the 10 most favored crests used by samurai clans. First is the Wisteria Quest, the symbol of parasitic obsequiousness established at the height of the preceding era. Currently, Families with the kanji, or Chinese character, for Fuji, such as Soto, Ito, Kondo, and others, considered descendants of the Fujiwara clan, will often utilize this symbol. The Polonia has been a prestigious symbol since ancient times, reserved only for the imperial family and others of high status. But some warrior families earned the right to use it, with grateful imperial consent. It has also been used as the symbol of many public institutions, including the Japanese government. 
During the Edo period, all limitations on its use were withdrawn, and it is now incorporated into the canon of many dutiful households. Next is the Falcon Feather Crest. The falcon was popular with warriors as a symbol of strength, due to its brave and majestic appearance. There are many variations, but numerous families use two crossed wings, surrounded by a circle. By the way, kamen, surrounded by a circle, signify a branch of the main family. Next is Mokomon. There are several opinions and theories about what this design is based on. Some suggests it's a cross-section of a gourd, or the gourd itself. Others, that it's a bird's nest. Oda Nobunaga is regarded as one of the three unifiers of the Warring States period, along with Taiotomi Hideyoshi and Tokugawa Ieyasu. He has become well known globally, due to manga and video games. He used an adaptation of this design, called Oda Moko, as his main family crest. Next is the Arxalus crest. The Arxalus is a heart-shaped weed, similar to clover, that grows everywhere in Japan. Due to their fertility, they symbolize the prosperity of descendants. This symbol features Miyoga, or Japanese ginger, which is associated with the blessings of a deity, or Buddha. Family crests with Miyoga designs were especially popular among samurai clans, who placed primary importance on victory and defeat. Next is the Omodaka crest. Due to its shape, the arrowhead symbol is often referred to as Victorious Grass. As the name suggests, samurai clans believed it brought them good luck in battle. After all, who wants to draw their sword if archers can get the job done at a distance? Contrary to myth, what the majority of samurai warriors wanted above all was prosperity for their family. The ivy, which twines around other objects and grows rapidly, is said to have been their favorite plant because it suggested the prosperity of all conquering offspring. Tochibona are a variety of mandarin orange, which has been native to Japan since ancient times. As an evergreen plant, they are considered eternal and auspicious which is why the Tochibona crest is the favored motif of venerable families. Not surprisingly, in a country that lacks ethnic diversity, most families fit that description. And consequently, this is one of the most widespread family crests. Oak leaves have been closely associated with Shinto rituals since ancient times when it was also revered by European Druids. Not surprisingly perhaps, families that have been priests for many generations use this crest. The logo of one of Japan's earliest corporations, Mitsubishi, uses a simple, geometric representation of an oak leaf. Beyond the 10 most popular symbols, Butterflies were popular with ambitious clans for their metamorphosis, from larva to colorful adult. Sparrows were considered good luck because of their constant, cheerful songs. In classical Japanese paintings, sparrows and bamboo symbolize a fruitful allegiance. Roku Senmon, or Six Sen, an ancient form of currency, was believed to be the fair paid to be carried across the Sanzu River, into the afterlife. Clans with symbol were perhaps pessimists, ensuring that their journey into the afterlife was prepaid. But we're told, it had an unsettling effect on their opponents. Fish are rarely used in the design of family crests, 
although crustaceans, such as prawns and crabs, occasionally turn up. Carps are the rare exception, because they were considered the king of fish. During the extended peace of Edo period, political power began shifting yet again to the rising merchant class. The shogunate attempted to shore up the social order by establishing a strict hierarchy. Samurai, peasants, artisans, and merchants who were to be considered the lowest of the low. But as markets grew, family crests were used to signify brand identity. Craftsmen stamped their wares to signify a personal commitment to quality. Merchants dyed their shop names on Noren, which were hung over shop fronts as signboards. Even farmers followed the trend. At a time when most people could not read kanji, family crests offered an instant form of recognition. The shogunate forced everyone to be part of the parish around an appointed temple in their local area. As a result, temples adopted the European model, becoming repositories of the kind of personal information now retained by town halls and local government offices. Families paid offerings to the temples for funeral and memorial services, leading to a trend for stone grave markers bearing family crests. It was only in the Meiji era when Japan modernized to catch up with the outside world, that everyone took surnames, and official family registers were established rapidly. During the American occupation, following World War II, the concept of the nuclear family took root in Japan, and the bonds of extended families faded. Nowadays, crests, are seen only on ceremonial occasions. So, more than half the population has no idea what their family crest looks like. But a growing number of young people are reviving interest in Kamen. And given the failure of Japan's equivalent of the American dream, learning about what their ancestors valued. Some are designing new crests by themselves or with the help of professional services. In particular, marriage provides a popular opportunity to combine two family crests into something new. The logos of Soy Sauce Maker, Kikkerman, General Trading Company, Mitsui & Co. and Kyoto-born engineering firm, Shimazu Corporation, are all derived from the family crest of their founders. But like European heraldry, Kamen have a unique visual language that takes time and effort to learn. So, whether you're looking to avoid being mistaken for the enemy on a dark night in the neighborhood, or you're keen to stamp your wares with a distinctive sigil, do you think you'd like to make your own Kamen? Tell us in the comments below. Then we'll decide whether or not to make a how to guide in the near future. Thanks for watching.